Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Cher Marie. Today I'll be doing my November wrap up. Before I get started, if you're new to this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as the notification bell. And if you're new, hi, hello, I'm Stephanie and I do a lot of bookish content. I know I am so late right now with November, considering it's already like mid-December, but I'm finally here to talk about all the books that I read for last month. To start off, here are some quick stats. I read a total of 16 books for the month of November, which for me is fantastic considering the last couple months have not been the greatest this also meant i read a total of 7013 pages which is honestly really fucking good too and then out of those 16 books i read two books that were two stars one book that was two and a half stars three books that were three stars four books that were four stars four books that were four and a half stars and then two books that were five stars so as you can clearly tell a majority of my books were definitely four stars and up which is always great to see though i did have a couple that were two two and a half stars which is not great but overall i think the quality and the quantity was still pretty good for me the first books that i want to talk about is actually part of a series and that is the broken bonds series i think technically it's called like ties bonds that tie series and i read unbroken bonds which i gave four and a half stars tragic bonds which i also gave four and a half stars and then forced bonds which i gave four and a half stars so the rest of the series i basically just gave four and a half stars i really enjoy the continuation of the series this is the end i finished all of them and honestly i loved it i love the characters i love the dynamics between everyone i love the plot i love the twists and turns like i love the magical elements to it like it was just a really really good read and it was also incredibly steamy i did feel like the first book was definitely not very smart heavy so i wasn't expecting it but then as the book continued and as the series continued i was like blown away by how intensive and how descriptive it was so if you're looking for a really like spicy series this is definitely it for you the next two books i read is also part of a series and that is the barbarian's lady as well as barbarian's redemption these two i gave a four stars pretty much give the entire series every time i read it four stars i think they're just good fun there's not a lot of like substance to it um for the most part usually it's like a plot is very like straightforward a lot of smuts i do feel like as the story is progressing though there is more of a shift towards more of a sci-fi plot versus the smut like there's definitely still smut but i feel like the beginning books was 90 percent smut and like 10 percent plot now i want to say it's like 60% smud and then 40% plot where it goes more into like different alien creatures and space travel etc um but even then it's like it's not I wouldn't say it's very plot heavy it's more of a like oh there's actually more going on right now with what's going on this like planet so it's interesting I still like it I still like the trajectory of the series so obviously I'm gonna continue with it I'm definitely still reading it kind of slowly maybe like one or two books every month and then that's it but I really enjoy these two books as well then this next book I picked up is Ruthless Faye which is book two of the Zodiac Academy this book I gave four stars honestly I okay I will continue on with the series because I believe the third book from what I read online after doing some research is where they finally uncover this Vega sisters like twin sisters order and I am so hyped to find out what that is because they've been talking about it for a long time they're deemed as extremely powerful but kind of useless in a way like I don't want to say it's useless but they don't really know how to channel and really like direct their magical abilities because they don't know what the order is so once they find that out I feel like that would change a lot in terms of their role and dynamic between them and like the other students so i'm super curious to find that out but this book i don't know i don't know why this series is so chunky like i feel like this book these two books so far can be chopped down into like half like it does not need to be this long and i feel like because it's so long it takes me so long to read it just because it's also like not dense because it's definitely not dense but it's slow you know like it does not need this much stuff happening between that i'm like i don't care about so i still give a four star just because i like the magical elements to it i like the plot despite its slowness and i also like the characters kind of their interactions like i definitely like them more in this book than the first book but even still definitely a lot to be desired for us for now then this next book i picked up is banyan moon by thao tai this book i read from my book club and i gave unfortunately two stars we haven't actually talked about this yet for my book club because i read this for the month of november because a lot of people were out of town and traveling and whatnot so i ended up canceling it and we're going to talk about this book in their december which is actually in a couple days so we haven't really talked about it then so 
don't know what everyone's thoughts are but i can safely say for me i did not love it i thought it was actually very dry very slow i didn't look here for the characters to be honest the entire time i was reading it i was just like i wanted this to be over with and sometimes i dnf books for book club but because i don't know this was like a short read i didn't want to dnf it like i really should have though um but it wasn't like terrible terrible it just was not the book for me the next two books are also from a series i read the king's cage which i gave two and a half stars and then i read glass sword which i gave three stars definitely controversial but I did not love these two books guys i definitely thought the first book was so good like i was obsessed but for some reason after that this book was just not it for me i didn't care for glass sword either and i'm about to read war storm even though i'm kind of hesitant now because i'm like i didn't love these two books will i enjoy it but i really like the first one that i, I still want to know how the story will conclude which is like the only reason why i'm still going to pick it up and finish off that reading vlog but all i can say is i did not love these two books definitely was slow definitely was dragging i i felt like this these two books could have been shortened and condensed into just one and it would have saved a lot of us grief or me at least then the next three books i want to talk about as part of a series and that is twisted games twisted hate and twisted love i gave two of them four and a half stars and i gave twisted love five stars i adore this series i also did finish the last book but i read it for december so i'll talk about it then so but these books i adored i love alex in the first book like that bad boy vibe i was so here for that my friend also really enjoyed the series and she loved the second book more and i was like that's because you like the bodyguard trope <laughs> so like she really liked that one but for me the first book was definitely the stellar of the show i love ava i love alex i love their dynamics together i just i don't know there's just something about when a guy is just like i i, I like i thrive when it comes to angst so when it comes to a guy who's just like i did something wrong and i'm trying to make it up to you and he's just like doing all that like i thrive in that emotion so i was so here for that and i think that's why this book was five stars compared to the second and third book because they didn't have that angsty feelings i still enjoyed it don't get me wrong i loved all this all the series i love all the books i love all the characters but the first one was just something like hugs at my heartstrings so really enjoyed that one for sure and i'm definitely going to be picking up her other series because apparently it's like a spin-off and it follows i think is his name dominic i forget but it's like it follows another character that was introduced in the third book and i'm curious to find out like why that is a different series altogether instead of a continue well actually no i think i know why it's because these four books so the twisted series is a four book series and each of them follows one of their friends because they're a four friend group so that makes sense but i don't know i'm just like curious to see like more on this spinoff series and if there will be any like tidbits from the original series because i adore these characters guys like i love like as the story progresses too like they're just collecting these men as these like in these friend group and they have to interact with each other because they're like more girlfriends or best friends of each other and i don't know but i love the dynamics there like it's so fun entertaining so anyways i see the hype i love the series so much and that's all i can say about it so this next book i picked up was the love of my life by rosie wash this book i gave three stars i really wanted to enjoy this book a lot more i felt like i heard a lot about this book and there's a lot of hype about it in terms of a really great romance etc but when i listened to it as an audiobook i did not feel that connection and i definitely need to feel a connection with characters for the most part so unfortunately this one was just okay for me and i think the reason why is because the synopsis is talking about how she is um sick and she's dealing with something i forget what it is again but she's like definitely sick she's suffering a serious illness oh my god my little tofu is being a naughty little boy weren't you tofu weren't you yeah yeah exactly and i gave him a little like kiss right there you can see a little pink mark yeah i just love how like look at this oh, okay never mind he decided not to do that but i think the reason why this book was very okay for me is because the synopsis is just so different the book talks about emma while she's suffering a serious illness and her husband liam is like 
the perfect husband for her absolutely adores her blah 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 and then because of this illness he is trying to uncover something for whatever reason i forget the reason why actually um he's like researching and writing but this time he's like writing about his wife's life and because he's like researching he starts to uncover the secret and now she needs to like come clean with him and tell him about the other love of her life so this synopsis made me feel like it was another man or something like that but that was not the case and i feel like that was misleading and so i was expecting this in, like intense love affair and that's not what i really got so it's not a spoiler because i'm not I didn't tell you what it is i just tell you what it's not though i guess if you had also had the same inkling as me it's kind of a spoiler but anyways point is though i enjoyed it i did like the overall story i just was not in the direction that i was originally planning for or hoping for the next book i picked up is the leftover woman by jane kwok this book i gave three stars this is a very short book i was not expecting to be this thin and i felt like this book okay i gave it three stars because i like the message in this book so it basically follows a woman her name is jasmine yang who arrives in new york city trying to find the daughter that was kind of stolen from her by her husband so in china at this time period which i technically still now there is a one child policy but in rural villages like not in the cities it's very it's more lax in terms of that policy so you can try again but because her husband is pretty high in terms of the hierarchy like the government he has to be very strict with his family so he ends up selling basically selling off their daughter to be adopted by his american friends and then it also follows rebecca who is the daughter's adopted mother and then as the story progresses you know the two of them collide paths with each other etc and the message that i really enjoyed was about china's one child policy and how that impacted this whole situation so even though i didn't really care too much about the characters and i didn't care too much about their dynamics too much but i really enjoyed just learning about the impact of this policy because in a way it seems like it, it makes sense in the terms of like population control because china is huge and there's a ton of people there so like from a government standpoint i can see the reasoning behind it but at the same time it's like you, they don't understand the repercussions when it goes down to the granular level you know what i mean like as per family etc that was definitely one thing that i really enjoyed just reading about and just seeing the impact it had on jasmine and now rebecca and then their daughter as well so even though i thought like this book was okay i really enjoyed that which is why this book still was three stars for me so this next book i want to talk about is yellow face my god i love this book five stars i think this is actually my favorite rf kwong book because i love the poppy one but it is a dense series and you really have to like sit down hunker down focus and read it and it's also like debilitating sometimes in terms of the scenes like it was traumatic sometimes and Babel for me was an okay read I didn't really love it that much I'm not the huge dark academia girly I feel like everyone loves that vibe and I want to but every time I read a book it's set in that setting I don't end up loving it so I've just come to realization that I'm just not a dark academia reader i do like it to some degree so i will still continue reading it but it's never going to be a five star read for me they're always like three to four stars so that one wasn't great but this one i don't know why but like i was in an audiobook and i was immediately like suckered into the book i was invested of the characters i want to know what's happening and like in a way i was just like there's all this justification in her mind that i was like yes i can see why you're doing this but i'm also like what the fuck are you doing and so I don't know like it was it was just so like at odds with each other like my logical side and then also my not so logical side and then written about her i was just like i was so invested with this book guys i was obsessed i love it i know why everyone's talking about it like, i it won best fiction of the year on goodreads which i was like high praise it well deserved it was so good i yeah i was gushing about it to my friend as well because she also read it recently and we were just like what the fuck um but yeah the character was incredibly well done the gray area i thought was just like so it, it was just really well done guys i really enjoyed it just like the back and forth and what's right and wrong and it's like there's a clear line between what's right and wrong but also there's like a gray area and i'm just like i was obsessed guys that's all i can say so yeah that was like definitely one of my favorite books that i read this past month all right then this last book that i read is probably also some controversial is the book of asriel which i gave two stars like this was probably this is one of my least favorite books of this month i 
really wanted to enjoy it. I actually am reading this for a romantic vlog right now, so I'm not going to talk too much into it because I don't want to spoil that vlog in this video, but I didn't love this book. I thought that this was incredibly dense. I felt like I was taking forever reading it. I did, like, I love the romance between Liam and Diana, but that was it. I didn't care for the magic system. I didn't care for all the politics. I didn't care for, you know, like the allegiances and allies and friends and all that stuff. Like, I didn't care about any of that. And it was just such a struggle for me to read this book. So, I don't know, I really thought this would be amazing. I heard so many people gushing about it. It was like rated so high on Goodreads. But unfortunately for me, like I was not the target audience. I also thought that was supposed to be very smutty. It was not smutty. Like there was like maybe two scenes in here that I was like, oh, there's some smut in here. It's very much like faded black. So I don't know, like in terms of this series versus the Bond series I talked about earlier, that series was like way off there in terms of the smut. This one is like a one or two. So if you're looking for like a really good smut book, this is not it. If you're looking for a lot of like fantasy and magical beings and God and all of that, then perhaps this book is good for you. But for me, it didn't really hit home for me. Anyways, these are all the books I've read this past month. I definitely had some controversial opinions in this video, I feel like. Um, let me know what your thoughts are down below. And if you had opposing opinions let me know down below as well and let me know why but as always if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up i really just have my channel and if you like to see more content of me please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as notification bell and as always don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next time bye